Today's the day we finally put in the pool at the mansion. I got the backyard all prepped off and we got the equipment that just arrived this morning. So super cool. We have an excavator, a skid steer, a Peterbilt came in and hauled it. And then we have a side dump trailer that we'll hook up to to take all the dirt, all the possibly rocks that will excavate as well. So I'm thinking that this is where we're gonna do it. The pool's gonna be right about here. It's gonna be a pretty big pool. We have plenty of space. Might have to take out a few more trees to give us some more room. It's gonna be a pretty deep pool, 12 feet in some sections. And to get this job done, we had to destroy a bit of this fence. So we got some construction workers here directing traffic because we'll be in and out of here all day, put some construction fence for safety. Then we had to build like a little gravel entrance because there, there was like a ditch here before and we laid a little pipe. So now here is our construction entrance to the back of the mansion. Let's go ahead and take these straps off here and we'll get the skid unloaded. And then the excavator should probably get them warmed up here. And we got the skid unloaded. Not too bad. This is a T-76. One of Bobcat's newest skid steers. I got a ripper on the back, a big high capacity bucket on the front here. So this should work really good for kind of grading out, slicking up and cleaning up once we're kind of done and just that the big excavator the big excavator is meant for getting the dirt out and this is kind of project cleanup guy i guess but pretty cool at t yeah i said t76 gives this like crazy ripper thing so if we ever run in i guess that anything really hard no there's no way this gets yours gonna break it up if the, if the volvo can't and here we go let's get unloaded peter will did a good job hauling down this this excavators it's not light pretty heavy but we don't have to go too far and we're off all right let's get tracked in here if we can squeeze in between and we'll kind of spray paint off where we're gonna build the awesome pool and we'll get to work so right now the mansion's looking pretty cool we have a really nice front entrance with all the landscaping i just think the backyard is a little rough i mean you can't beat this we got the iconic circle driveway and super nice fence and gate and then a nice shop over there. I guess four car garages. Here's my new Bronco if you haven't seen it. It looks pretty good in here. And right now we just have, I guess we have two sheds, but we have this one shed out here. It's just grass, trees. It looks nice, but we could really use a pool and we have plenty of space for it. So essentially what our job is today is to excavate it out and then the concrete guys will come and actually like build the part of the pool that like I can't. So I have the equipment to do this. They'll come in like, make the concrete floor the walls the side and then like i think we're gonna do some hardscape around it some pavers all right and that should be the last one so what i just did there is i jumped in the in the bobcat real quick kind of slicked up took the topsoil off and then we have some sod left over on the side for any touch-up work later that we could use but there it is it's kind of marked that and that's where we're gonna go with the pool pretty big pretty ambitious but it should be really cool once it's done and let's see what we can do for those that are wondering how this is going to work and like what I'm actually doing here. I am using a mod called Terra Farm. And as you can see here, it's I, I got to get used to it a little bit. I know how to work it, but I'm not the most skilled operator. You see how I'm actually like digging to, into the ground. It's super cool. There we go. Now we're full. So you can see I dug down that I guess there was some rock down there, too. Maybe once they, when they built this house, they had some stone they put there. And so it's really cool. It totally changes farm sim and ripen it in like crazy. There we go, we'll load into the side dump. And once we're gonna dig down, we can change kind of how it works. So I'll have my HUD open so you guys can see. Right now, I believe it's only for PC players, unfortunately, but what's really cool is in FarmSim, you never could do this before. You're at, we're actually like altering the terrain with actual like machines, super realistic. And uh, da now you can use machines, excavators, stuff like that, instead of just terraforming in the construction menu. There we go. This is pretty cool. First person view. I, uh, I'm not the best. It is kind of hard to tell. Like, I don't want to accidentally dump. There we go. I guess it won't let me dump on the ground. So it's foolproof. And there we go. Curl out and kind of drag back in and curl in. There we go. It's not too bad. This Volvo is pretty nice. I'm a keyboard and mouse. So if you had like two joysticks actually run it like a real excavator, that would be pretty cool. And there we go. I wonder, I'm just curious. So we have the depth go side dump hooked up to the Peter, but okay, we're 100% full already. We might need to get some more dump trucks in here. Let's kind of see what we've done. Honestly, right here, this is pretty, pretty deep. So I'll have to measure this, get a laser level out, but that's kind of what we're doing for this whole thing here. And here we go, we'll head off. So that's why we need to build this entrance and like have construction workers watching traffic and all that because we're going to be in and out of here. Like I said, we're gonna, probably going to get more dump trucks in here and stuff. But the side dump should work pretty good for now. 
There we go. Pretty cool. Well, it would be really nice. Side dump doesn't hold as much as I'd like, but it's really good for like boulders and stuff like that. And then this parking lot needs some more gravel. So that's what we're going to be unloading here for. And there we go. It's starting to dump. Super nice. So this gravel parking lot, they just, they need more gravel. It's getting, there's some wet spots. There we go. The side dump is so safe when you dump too. We can get off and go. It's not as uh, scary as unlike in a dump truck when you're on uneven ground it's like you could tip all right we're still working here we already filled up our second trailer load still trying to figure out the best way to like grade this it's kind of a rough grade there we go all right we're full so what we're gonna be doing unfortunately i i can't figure it out there's a menu in this in it and you can change a lot of things with how this works what i as you can see here when i when i put it on the ground it, it looks like stone or gravel whatever you want to call it and i have it selected on dirt or I haven't selected on animal mud for the discharge paint color, which I thought that's I none of this fill type is stone. But when you turn it to dirt for me, at least it doesn't it doesn't like actually work. So I have to keep it on stone. But it uh, anyway, the pool is starting to come together. It's starting to kind of shape up. And I, I would say we got about halfway done here. Still trying to like figure out the best way to go about in the excavator. Super, it would be really cool if like, obviously if I had like joysticks and stuff like that, but most things I do in farm sim keyboard and mouse are the best, but I could see if you're in, in an excavator a lot, or like even just like a wheel loader and you're going to use Terraform a bunch, that would totally be, totally be worth it. Cause it, in my opinion, it like totally changes the game and how it works and stuff. You do a bunch more construction work. So if you guys are really into construction and you like to play farm sim and kind of role play construction, I'd really recommend, I believe, don't quote me on it, but Terraform's just for PCs as currently. I, I totally might be wrong. I should probably not say anything, but totally love it. We're getting into this. Awesome. This is going to be a pretty cool swimming pool once we're done with it. Nice clear water. We'll have concrete ground. I think we're going to put like a plastic lining around it too after the concrete. That way it looks nice. And then I had the, uh, I had my wife come out and she's like, Hey, it can't be that big. So when I marked it out, she's like, no, not that big. Cause I was like, Hey, it's going to cost probably this much more concrete. She said, we aren't paying for that. So we kind of, I spilled a little gravel. Yeah. I spilled a little gravel right here to kind of, we aren't going this, we're just going like this far, if that makes sense. So a little bit more to do here. There we go. Another full bucket. For me, third person is the easiest way to go about it, but first person, I will admit, does look pretty cool. But two guys will have a underground, yeah, underground super nice pool in the back of our luxury mansion here. Let's lift her back up. All right, I'm going to finish up this pool. Let's get a time lapse going. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, and things are coming along pretty good. I'm gonna take a lunch break, good place to stop for a minute. And yeah, I, personally, I think it's looking pretty good. I got the main stuff out, gotta clean up the sides, maybe a little too, I, maybe I went a little too deep, but that's fine, because when I clean up the sides, I can just take some of that side soil and then put it down at the bottom to raise the bottom. So things are kind of etched out. We could clean up a little bit more here with the skid, but I'm gonna go take a lunch break, head down to the diner. Should be some good food down there and I'll be back to keep working on it. Well, lunch is over and I put about two hours in and I think it's pretty good. We're pretty close to where we need to be. I'll, I'll probably be here tomorrow when the concrete guys come, but we got all of our, like I said, this is supposed to be like dirt instead of stone. It kind of looks, let's look at it. Yeah. It kind of looks like rock stone-ish. I couldn't get it to be dirt. I mean, it looks like I pulled dirt out. I mean, like this is all dirt and stuff, but we got it. I should probably fill in that section there, but this pretty good, pretty deep. And I think this is going to be the shallow end close to the house and the deep end further away. I can't remember, but seems like it turned out pretty good. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash like button. If you haven't already subscribe as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my job clearing it out. Concrete guys will come and then it'll be all finished up. Hope you guys enjoyed Terra. You guys enjoyed watching me use the Terraform mod. I really recommend it. Seems like it's a really good mod if you guys like construction and stuff like that. So 
With that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.